Well, it's warming up outside. The Bible gives us this verse that is kind of, you know, some of these verses in the Word of God are just something you want to be aware of. It says that about our minds. And in 2 Corinthians 4, 3, we've been looking at the mind this week. It says, in our minds, the God of this world has supernatural power to blind our mind. It's a funny thing uh, sometimes how we get mixed up about things. But sometimes you just get forgetful or you maybe have a thought that uh, we look at ourselves and we say, okay, the Lord says, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. God, you, you know, we're supposed to take every thought captive according to the word of God. But it is scary and why it's important that we are able to take every thought captive and why it's a battlefield is that the God of this world, meaning the devil, Satan, that's the name, you don't like saying it, he has power to blind your mind. And that's kind of shocking. It's not just an issue of forgetfulness or that's not a very thoughtful thing to do. He can actually work through supernatural ability, that's what the Bible says in this verse, to blind your mind. And interestingly, the only person who can open your eyes to the truth is the Holy Spirit. Now, sometimes people are like, that's very, uh, uh, you know, apparent in the Word of God, but it's very important to remember to control your mind, your thoughts. It's really hard sometimes to remember certain things. But then there's other times where it's like an actual force, according to the scripture, can work not in me, but in my mind. It, it can blind people who don't believe. So you have to have the Holy Spirit at work in your life, in your mind, in your thoughts. Romans chapter eight, verse seven, and these are strong uh, <laughs> verses. It says, your mind is enmity, meaning like aggression against God. And Colossians one says that people who aren't, don't believe are alienated and enemies in their mind. It's crazy, isn't it? So there's some very strong things in the Bible about your mind. And this is the kind of thought I want to close with. There, there's a difference between opinion. There's so many opinions in the world today. People have so many opinions and their own thoughts, what they would say their own thoughts versus having the Holy Spirit not only regulate your thoughts, but you take every thought captive. And that is really important today. People are free with opinions today, and there's nothing wrong with expressing your feelings, but there's a real heightened work of this. And don't trust your thoughts. If your mind is unregulated, if you're not taking every thought captive, then you see busting onto the scene. It's a supernatural power to just blind you uh, because that's what the devil has the ability to do. Opinions are fine, but make sure that every thought in your mind is captive. And that's important. Lots of opinions, but is every thought in your mind captive to, to the Lord Jesus Christ? That's what we're supposed to do. And oftentimes in people's opinions, you can root out pretty quick by their words out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. This, is, this isn't the Lord taking every thought captive here. This is somebody else doing something that they have thought up in their mind. They're blinded to it. It's sad to say that our world today, it's not regular anymore. And so the mind really starts to spill out in an unregulated fashion. Don't make room for God in your mind. Take every thought captive by the Holy Spirit by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God in prayer, you can walk and war, not after the flesh. You can't defeat this enemy or this foe the way that you just think. You have to defeat him 
by the work that God wants to do in you and through you. In Jesus' name, amen.